What is up, bros and brats? I'm Ink Slasher, and today we are going to be looking at five more things in Black Ops 3. Today's five things are going to be five things you may or may not have known about Call of Duty Black Ops 3 score streaks. Now, there's a lot of things we're going to be looking at today. Some of them are how to destroy score streaks. Some of them are just little intricate details and really how they work. And I think you guys will really enjoy it. This series has been very, very well received. And if you want to keep seeing more things like this, it would be very, very greatly appreciated if you hit that like button because that lets me know that you want to see more things like this so let's see how many likes we could get on this video and uh without further ado let's get into looking at five things you probably didn't know about black ops 3 score streaks so the first thing we're going to look at today is which score streaks can actually swim. And what I mean by that is what score streaks can turn into Michael Phelps and go through water like butter. Now, these score streaks that we're going to be looking at are the ones that are like manually controlled. So the first one I wanted to look at was the Cerberus, aka the Wally bot. So what happens when you bring a Cerberus into water? It simply doesn't work. Literally, you try to drive it in there and it just blows up. Water and server spot equals death. So I wanted to take this further and same thing happens with the Talon. But however, if you take something like the Dart Drone, give her a toss up in the air. Well, instead of me talking, jeering it, let's, uh, let's just cue that music. Well, that was far more epic than that needed to be in the slightest, but the point is, is you can fly a dart drone underwater to get those sneaky, sneaky underwater dart kills. While we're on the topic of the dart drone, another thing I wanted to look at this week was whether it was possible to kill a dart drone with heat wave without actually killing yourself. And guess what? It's more than possible. In fact, you can kill a dart drone with heat wave without even taking any damage. So the maximum radius of that heat wave is so large that you can kill that dart drone without it being even close to you and take absolutely no damage from the explosion. So it's actually a really legitimate way to actually eliminate an enemy's dart drone. So from there, I wanted to see exactly how easy it was to eliminate a Hellstorm missile. Why? Because everyone talks about it, everyone says it's super, super easy. So I wanted to see for myself. So, started out with a sniper rifle, and that's actually pretty legitimate and pretty easy. All you gotta do is know it's coming in, have a look up in the air, shoot it with a sniper rifle. It's not impossible whatsoever. But then I wanted to see from there if I could take it a step further, so I tried to use a concussion grenade. And guess what? That is also 100% legitimate. In fact, not only can you just hit the Hellstorm missile with a concussion grenade, if the explosion itself from the concussion grenade hits that Hellstorm missile, that alone will explode that Hellstorm missile. On top of that, I wanted to take it another step further. One thing I wanted to know is that before a Hellstorm missile hits the ground, is it possible? Do you have enough time to hack it with the black hat? And guess what? You 100% do. So what actually happens if you hack a Hellstorm missile with a black hat? You aim. You got. First of all, you got to be aiming at it like literally right away as soon as it's called in. But if you hack it in time, it explodes on the spot, and the radius it explodes in is now your Hellstorm missile. So. It's not really legitimate, you're not really going to be able to do it in game unless you're constantly staring at that sky, but if you are looking at that sky and you have a black hat ready to go, you can actually hack that Hellstorm missile and have wherever it lands kill the enemies, but that being said, if it's aiming at you, it's going to kill yourself as well. So next I wanted to see how effective the Hive Drones could actually be against the Score Streak. So really the only Score Streak you're going to be able to use Hive Drones against is really the Cerberus because your Hive Drones, generally speaking, stay on the ground, they stick into an area and then they try to kill people. But while the drones are also on the ground, the only Score Streak that's running around on the ground other than the HCXD is the Cerberus. And let's face it, the Cerberus has a lot more health than the HCXD. So I wanted to see what happened. And guess what? With only two Hive Drones popping, it kills the Cerberus. Yes, for every Hive Drone that pops around the Cerberus, it actually does half the health of the Cerberus and kills it. So the Hive is actually a pretty good way of getting rid of an enemy Cerberus. The final thing I wanted to test this week was a classic story of David versus Goliath. And what I mean by this is I want to take the biggest score streak in the game and put it against something way, way way smaller. So I wanted to take the mothership, a 1700 point kill streak, so 17 kills in TDM, against something 
that's so small as the dart drone, a 650 point score streak, and I wanted to see what happened. The results from this were absolutely astounding. In fact, it only took two dart drones firing three missiles and crashing the dart drones into the mothership to actually kill it. I thought it would take way, way more than that, but in fact, it only takes two. So, in fact, the dart drone is actually a pretty legit way of taking this puppy out. So, if you ever happen to have two dart drones while there's a mothership up in the air, you know what to do. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you made it this far and enjoyed it, it would be super, super greatly appreciated if you could leave a like rating. It really, really does help out the channel and helps more and more people find these videos. So hitting that like button really does support the channel. Um, if you've made it this far, maybe you're interested in the channel and want to hit that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, I upload new Call of Duty videos every single day of the week. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Check out my Twitch. Twitter down in the description. I love every single one of you guys, and until next time, peace out.